Hey, it's Kay. Hope you're feeling cute today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Since you're already here, you might as well subscribe and hit that notification bell. It has been so many months since we've been in quarantine. And I think we can all agree that we have all started to try so many hobbies that we never had the time to do before all of this started. As for me, one of the hobbies that I've picked up this quarantine is DIY home photo shoots. Is it too late to make a video about this? I don't think so. So for today's video, we are doing just that. I will be showing you 5 ways on how I take my Instagram photos, including the setup, the mini props, and a little bit of editing. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. This is my usual setup, just a blank wall, my ring light, tripod, and a fan because it gets very hot in this country. And that's my nephew. What? So let grab it. Anyways, I just usually use a colored cartolina as my backdrop for my pictures. For the first concept, we will be using this butterfly mood board inspired by these amazing photos. I just did a simple eyeshadow look and wore false eyelashes to make my eyes pop. And then I'm wearing these gold square hoop earrings just for that little bling. I'm also adding this dainty butterfly necklace from Kiel to complement this sweetheart neckline silhouette. And of course, the highlight of this concept is our butterfly clips. I absolutely love this set from Shopee because you can easily clip it on your hair. But of course, you can also DIY this by printing out butterflies and using bobby pins or a hair clip. I also need to mention this lovely puff sleeve blouse that makes me feel like a princess. I think the best way to describe this look is what Flora would say, Perfectly splendid! When it comes to posing, I usually just give a blank or soft stare at the camera and make use of my mini props like this butterfly right here. And when I edit my photos, I usually just use PixArt to remove the unwanted details in the background. And when I'm done with that, I use Lightroom to do some lighting fixes and color adjustments. In this case, I really wanted to make red stand out, so I adjusted the luminance for that color. So these are the final shots for the first concept. I think we did a pretty good job with this one. For the second concept, I was really inspired by these vintage pinup girls from the 1950s. This is still the same makeup look from the previous concept. For the accessories, I'm using the same earrings as well, but I'm changing into this 1998 gold plate necklace, which I also got from Kiel. For my hair, I'm leaving two strands of side bangs and I'm just tucking the rest behind my ears to achieve that sleek look.
This cherry red dress from Weekend Wanda looks very classy and I think the silhouette goes really well with the vintage pinup girl concept. I also make sure to show off the shape of the dress by posing in different angles. And we're using these artificial flowers as props for that extra dramatic effect. Doing some necessary cropping can also improve the quality of your photo. And of course, to achieve that plain red background, we need to remove some unnecessary details as well. I saved the settings from our previous photo and then used it as a preset for this one. But of course, I also still made some adjustments to fit this photo better. I really love how these photos turned out, especially the last one. The fourth concept is probably one of my favorite concepts ever, and the only thing that we actually need is a sweater. Here's me doing some weird hand gestures. And here's me taking down that red backdrop, because we're going to use a green one! Here's me holding my plant. I love my plant. I'm just making use of this turtleneck situation to make my eyes pop. Let's just pretend it's really cold when it's really not. And some other fun poses like this one. Same style of editing as the previous concepts, I just removed the unnecessary background details. Did some lighting and color adjustments. And in this case, I really wanted to make green stand out, but not avocado green, lettuce green. Is it weird that I'm suddenly fond of color green lately? Anyways, these photos are so much fun. Last but definitely not the least, we have the most famous photo shoot trick of all, the tissue roll spotlight. Basically, what we need is just a tissue roll and your flashlight. But of course, as resourceful as we are, we are going to use the props that we used earlier. This big butterfly. and these artificial flowers. I think the shadow of the flowers added more effect as well. For the editing, I used Lightroom again for the lighting and color adjustments. 
and then RNI films for the filter that will give our photo the film vibe that we're going for. This style has been done by so many people, but I think our shots turn out so differently because we add our own personal style to it. So, which one was your favorite? Please tell me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoy videos like this, please hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you!